Hey guys, it's Nancy Ann, and today we are going to be unboxing Daily Look. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're returning. I appreciate everybody being here. Ruger and I are bringing you a daily look unboxing today. Uh, hopefully Ruger will stick with me throughout. Sometimes when daddy is on the other side of the wall in his office working, he decides to ditch me and go spend time with him. Although normally I am Ruger's preferred human. He knows, he knows where the real love is. So anyway, we've got a daily look unboxing today. If you are uh, wondering about how daily look works and how long you have to return things and all that good stuff, I have a description, the cliff notes down in the, the drop down box is a little arrow underneath this video. And if you push that, a box will open up that has got the description of, um, of how this works along with um, if you want to contact me about reviewing any products for you with my contact information my stats um, as far as my height and my sizes and all that and all those good things and I will have a listing of the clothes in this box down there for you too okay so um, daily look before I get into the box I know I always say that don't I but I I have a feeling this is gonna be my last unboxing of daily look it is not because I don't like the stylist. Actually, Mary is one of my favorite of all the stylists. I have made a commitment when I started this channel that I was gonna be really honest, not brutally so, and I certainly don't want to burn any bridges. <laughs> but I've, I've had some problems with daily look on the financial end, and I hate saying negative things, but this is something I want my viewers to be aware of. Um, every single financial transaction with them so far, and I think this is my my third or fourth unboxing with them, but before this, it's been messed up in one way or another. I won't go into the details, but there's that going on. The other thing is, I don't like their referral uh, program, quite frankly, because for me, if you use my link and someone did, thank you very much, someone used my link and I have a $25 credit with this box. And that's a lot of the reason why I went ahead and did another box, because I had kind of decided I wasn't going to, but I just felt like it was a waste of you guys, um, your belief in me when you use that referral link, it's a waste if I don't give them at least another shot. So I get $25, but you don't get anything. You still have to pay the $40, $40, that's the highest of any of them. Um, styling fee, it does get credited back towards anything you keep. You do get to use Mary, that's a reward in and of itself as your stylist, but other than that, you don't get any sort of credit, there's nothing for you. So I am going to go ahead and put my referral link down below, but I will tell you that I'm not necessarily going to do another one of these. I think I'm done, but that's not to say I wouldn't, I wouldn't try in the future. If they were to assure me or something was to be put in place that, that, you know, the financial stuff, they've got my credit card number. That makes me nervous <laughs> when you keep mischarging me. And again, they fix it right away. But if I could get some kind of assurance or if, assurance, or if they were going to come to me and say, I don't know, um, you know, we'll, we'll send you the boxes without a styling fee every time just so you can review them for us. I would consider, I don't think this is a bad company. I just think they have some things they have to work out. Now let's get into the good part. Besides Mer Mary being a great stylist, you have got to see the inside of this box. This is the most special unboxing experience of all of them. It looks like a dress shop inside. Is that not the cutest thing? We got a little lamp. Then we got the little clothes hanging, or a closet maybe. Isn't that just adorable? I love this box. So let's, let me open it, put it over here and open it up. Okie doke. So first of all, we have got, this is Gilly. That's a beautiful brand. It is kind of a yellowy beige color, very light knit sweater. It's very warm and my coloring is very, very cool. Now we've got kind of a terracotta colored. The brand is Gilly again. It's a size medium and 
it's a little tea but man does this tea feel good now again this is not always the best color on me it's a little bit too warm with those orangey undertones but we'll give it a try i've been surprised by things in the past i think i was wishing this would be more yellow and less um less beigey but we'll we'll try we'll see i like the weight on it gilly again this whoa two things whoop something escaped this looks like oh i like this this is a really pretty print it's a little wrap cami i actually love this and i hope this fits because i could really use this would this not be cute like under a button down just tie it over it and there's there's the print i think that's pretty got a little bit of yellow in it there we'll see how she suggests i wear it this is i remember this from the preview this is a cowl neck cami also and it's in this gorgeous kind of raisin color isn't that beautiful i absolutely love this it's like a slubbed um, sateen very pretty i'll be interested in seeing the fabric content on this let's take a quick look where is this is also by gilly we've got a lot of gilly going on this is 100 percent polyester um i do know that polyesters are not all made alike and that looks like a one of the higher end polyesters you know, oh this is cute this oh that's right i remember this from the preview too this is a one shoulder top if i'm not mistaken i love this i hope this works i'm a little bit concerned because it looks so loose around the waist but i really like this one too this is absolutely beautiful we've got the sage green this is a dress and i almost told her not to put it in because it's got oh it's a mini dress oh good heavens may not be showing this for you based on how i feel in it but it's got i could i thought the ruffle was going to hit me in the right wrong place in the my, wide part of my hips i felt like the waist might be too big but the reason why i told her to keep it in is because mary has done such a great job of styling me before i thought there may be something about this dress i just don't i just don't don't realize and it's by a brand called pinch and it's size large I'll try it on, but I'm, I'm not so much into mini dresses. I'm 55. I like this one though. So this one is by Love Stitch and it's, uh, this is another warm undertone. I was really hoping this wouldn't be as warm as it looked in the picture. So I'm really surprised because she's always known I like cool coloring before, but, um, it's it's a longer dress it's got the ruffle around the bottom i'd asked her for sundresses this feels a little bit dressier it's definitely a polyester feeling fabric it looks like it is fully lined so i don't know we'll try it on i could be surprised i've pulled things out that mary has selected for me before and thought i didn't like it and put it on and well does anybody remember the silver jumpsuit <laughs> which i kind of wish i would have kept sometimes oh I, oh speaking of jumpsuits oh this is cute this is a strapless jumpsuit i like this i cannot wait to try this one on the brand is can i see it's all backwards uh collective concepts it's a size large so sometimes large jumpsuits are too big up here whoop did i make you <laughs> pop when, when i touched the microphone but they're too large through the top and then and i've had another uh, strapless jumpsuit I think it was from daily look and it was too big through the top but it fit through the bottom so we'll see maybe she knows something about this one I don't but did you see the fabrication on that though the colors isn't that pretty that is so pretty so we'll try it on we'll see how that looks and then it looks like oh we've got the absolution high-rise short if these fit me I will love them they're a size 10 of course these are by democracy there is a little bit of distressing on them which I really like. I like the cuffed. Um, I'm hoping these aren't too short for me. So we'll get a good look at that. And we've got one last item. Yeah, a pair of jeans, some distressing on them. I'm, I'm warming up to the idea of distressing. It freaked me out there for a while. These are by Verve. Verve, uh, the few times I've tried them on, they actually fit me very well. So I'm I'm excited actually to try these. Um, I don't remember if I saw prices on these items or not. I'm not gonna look at the invoice though until the end. And so now let's get into trying all this on. As I'm sure you can imagine, I'm planning on doing this one quickly and then just 
moving on. I have some details and things in the box and different stuff and the story I want to finish, but we're getting this done first. And I honestly put it on and I said, I'm not showing this to them. And then I thought, well, I would want to see what the person was talking about. I don't think I need to go into great detail about why this does not work for me. I will tell you, this is the bottom of the skirt and my knee is down here. <laughs> I'm 55, I repeat that again. Uh, the silhouette's all wrong on me. I don't think the color is particularly flattering. And I think that's enough. It's so bad that Ruger's keeping his eyes closed. All right, let's move on to something else. Okay, so we rifled through the last dress and I'm gonna move pretty quickly, but I will say I really like this little capri length jumpsuit. What do you think? I like the colors on it. They're nice cool colors, which always are more flattering on me. Um, the, little, the little thing that hangs it on the hanger sticking out the side, but I like it. Um, I think in the last box, if I remember correctly, it was a daily look. She sent me a strapless jumpsuit, was navy blue, and I would have liked it except that it was way too big on top. This one fits me on top. It fits me well. I really like it. I think for summer this would be great, but what I'm wondering is, guys, is it too tight uh, on the bottom? It fits here. I, it's lined down to short length, which is kind of nice. The lining actually is pulling up on me a little bit. I think I'll need to walk around in it in a little bit and see if it rides up. But let me show you the back and I'll get a look at the back when I look at the rough footage too. But do you think that this is too tight for me? Because I really like it and I don't know, depending on price, which we'll look at in a second, I'd really like to consider keeping it. It is kind of a seersucker type uh, ribbed material. So it's very comfortable, very, very lightweight. Um, I don't know. I'm liking this one. Okay, let me find it here on the pricing sheet. Alrighty, I found the price. Took me a second. This is the Collective Concept Stripe Strapless Jumps Jumpsuit, and it is $88. I don't think that's so bad, especially for daily look. Um, so this one I may keep depending on how, how tight it is. I would love for you to weigh in. Also, the dress I just tried on a minute ago, if you are someone who is shorter than me, I'm five foot nine, or um, less hippie than me, or really loves your legs, or maybe considerably younger than me, you may like this one. This one is the sleeveless printed dress in Sage, and it's $118. So that one was a hard no, but this one is a most likely yes. Okay, uh, on, on to the next something. Next outfit. So we've got the Democracy Absolution High Rise Shorts. And we've got this cute little camisole. It looks like it's a wrap style here. It's got a little tie at this side. And I like the way it lays across my backside. It just seems to fit right. It does the right things, I think, through my waist. Probably would wear these more with a pair of jeans than the shorts. I don't know why. I guess I just feel like it would maybe look more balanced somehow. But, um, I like it a lot. Does it have adjustable straps? I don't know. And the, the tag's sticking out. I forgot to get that. Let me, let me stick that in while I'm talking. But um, I don't think it does. But the problem I'm having is the problem you're going to know I'm having if you've watched me for any period of time. It's low in the front, and I'm okay with a little bit of low, and it doesn't look like it's going to gate, but I keep having to pull it up so you can't see my strapless bra, the middle of it there. So. Ah, I like the colors though. I mean, I think it's awfully cute. So I don't know, I'm thinking about that. And then here's the shorts. They are a high rise. Uh, I think this length is more flattering on me than a full Bermuda style. I'll have to take a look at the footage back and see what I think about it. I'll turn around backwards for you to see that. And you can see the top with the tags tucked in. So, okay, let's talk prices on these pieces. I, I do, I think I like the shorts, although a lot of times I look at the shorts back uh, in the footage and I decide I don't like them after all. So we've got the sleeveless faux wrap side tie top. Uh, the cover color is navy multi. This is a size medium. It's 68. And the Democracy Absolution High Rise Short, size 10, and the color is indigo. These are $75. There's those. And I think we're gonna move on to another top. Please pardon the big clunky microphone in the middle of this top. 
I, this is my second time recording this because the first time I thought it was a one shoulder top and then when I took it off, I realized there was armholes on each side. <laughs> so anyway, I think this is a cute little top now that I have it on correctly. Uh, I, I really like the off the shoulder feature. Um, it's very comfortable. It's lightweight, of course, with linen, you would assume that it would be. Um, the stripes going around is okay. I think I could use some more definition at the waist, possibly. It's too short to really tuck in, so that makes me sad. I'll turn around and show you the back here. This top um, is Tarte, Tarte Collections, and it's $108. So I think for me, it's not quite right. You want to see it with the shoulders up? So it can go like that too. I love things that broaden my shoulders and I think this does, but I just think it's too short. Short. Also, I'm afraid the wind would blow and well, I can risk showing my bra from the underside. Alrighty, let's see if we can find a couple more items to try. I don't like to do this, but I'm holding my microphone because no matter what I do, it flops the neck of the, the cowl neckline of this, of this tank wrongly. So we have here the distressed jeans and a little uh, wine colored cowl neck tank. Very cute on the tank. The jeans, I'm not sure how I feel. Like I said, when I pulled them out of the box, I'm warming up to the idea of severe distressing, but these are so, are so distressed <laughs> that the bottom of them is actually starting to sag in the front. It just feels really wrong. Also, I find this length really awkward. I had to mess around with shoes for a while to see what worked the best. I've actually seen this kind of, it's, it's shorter than an ankle skimming, but it's longer than calf length. Very odd. Well, to me, they look like high waters. That's what we called them <laughs> back in the like 80s. But anyway, nobody would have worn jeans this length then. But uh, they sh show them, I've noticed a lot with pumps. So I decided to put them on pumps just to try and make them make sense somehow. But because of the length of them, I don't think I would necessarily get them anyway because it would be hard for me to find shoes that would work with them, at least of the shoes that I have. Uh, but that, that, that knee is really off-putting for me. And then the little cowl, uh, this, this is cute. It's really cute. I really like it. Um, it feels really comfortable it's that good quality polyester like i was talking about on the introduction and i hope you got a good look at the back of the jeans i don't think they're unflattering the pants i just think that they're not practical for me and i don't know exactly how i would wear them but i do like i do like the little top okay i've talked long enough let's talk about what these things are and the prices and I apologize if we're losing my microphone. These are the Distressed High Rise Crop Straight, Crop Straight Size 30, and they're $95. Um, I wish they were just a little bit longer. And then the Cowl Neck Satin Top and Wine Size Medium. It's 68. I like the top. So what do you think? Alrighty, I'm gonna put another, another top on with these jeans. I didn't mention on the cowl top that it actually has adjustable straps. So I really like that. It gives a good customizable fit and it also kept it from dipping down too low for me. And now let's move on to this really fine knit top. It's like a super light sweater material. This is so comfortable and perfect for warmer weather. Um, it still has a nice high neck if you want to be a little more modest. Are these not the cutest sleeves in the world? I absolutely love these. I think it's just so cute. It gives a little bit of extra detail there. And I like the fit. Let me turn around and show you the back. What I don't like is the color. When I saw it on the preview, it said yellow, and I was hoping it would be a yellow that's flattering on me. I love the color yellow, um, but it's hard for me to find them that don't make me look like a corpse. They just tend to suck all the color out of me. This one isn't so corpse-like, but it's more a wheat, I feel, than a yellow, and it's just not a color I particularly care for, uh, and I don't really think it's one of my best colors. I mean, when you compare it to, you know, the nice, rich color and the cooler colors um, in, this, in this box, these are good colors on me, but this yellow, um, weedy color, yeah, eh, uh -uh, not so much. Okay, uh, I got another top and then a dress. 
This little shirt, like the lightweight short sleeve sweater before it, are both by the brand Gilly. Um, have you ever put something on and you can just tell by the feel that it is a good quality? That's how this feels. It's lightweight, it's soft, but at the same time, it feels substantial and like it's just gonna hold up in the wash and always look as good as it does right now. It's also not mixed media, yay! So it's the same fabric on both the front and the back. And I like this little uh, tie detail at the side. So this top is $72 and they call the color mauve. I'm curious, what do you think about this color? Uh, it, again, this is another one I said, like I said, when I pulled it out of the box, it uh, leans, it's like a terracotta to me, has a little bit of orange in it. I like the feel of the shirt. I'm just not real sure I like the color of the shirt. So let me know what you think. I'll come back with a dress. This dress would likely look better with a nude heel, but I had the black down here, so we're rolling with it. So we've got this little high-low dress. I'm sure those are tassels on the ends. I'm not going to unwrap them so that they're left nice for the next person because I don't think I'm getting this. I do like the overall silhouette on me. I think it's a good shape. Uh, the waist fits well. Here it is from the back. So um, it's also got some ruching here at the neck. A little bit of stretch makes it easy to get over your head and it does not have the ties that hang down. Sometimes those can be a little bit annoying and it's got a bit of a flutter sleeve here. Um, so there's two things I'm not liking about it. I don't think this color does anything for me at all. It's another warm color. I just, I, I clearly am a cool coloring and this is, I just feel so bleh in it. And also the high-low hemline. If it were this much longer and hit right underneath the top of my bottom of my knee, um, I would think about it. But as I'm getting older, I'm not liking my knees so much, and I don't think it's doing good things for me. So, um, but I, you know, I think the silhouette from the side is pretty good. This is just this is just going to be a no. Pretty dress though. It's $118 if I remember correctly. Let's come back and wrap this thing up. I checked the price of that dress and it was indeed $118. And the brand on this was Love Stitch. Didn't mention that when I tried it on. Um, I'm, eh, nah. So let me uh, talk about discount structures because I had seen on the exclusive offer pamphlet in the box that if I kept, uh, two, if I spent 200, I would say 50. 300 save 75 and 400 I would save a hundred dollars um, I was wondering if their normal discount structure Would apply with that and it looks like it does because it mentions it at the bottom of the invoice I will find out at checkout if that is the case if I keep three or four items I say 50% off of the least expensive item and if I keep five or more items I saved 50% off the two least expensive items so if I can keep three items and save 50% off the least expensive one and those numbers come out to above 200, I think I will save an additional 50 bucks, which might make keeping a third item worth it for me if I, if I like it pretty well. So I am sure I would like to keep, at least until I see the footage, the jumpsuit. I really like this. It's unique. It's different than anything else uh, I have and I can see uh, wearing it a lot. A little bit concerned, it's a little bit too tight through the hips, but I think it will be okay. Please let me know. And I also really like the cowl neck um, cami. I love that it's adjustable, and I think this is a great color. And I can also see this layered under other things as the weather gets cooler. So if I was to keep one more thing for half off, um, I think it would either be the shorts. Um, I, have, I have two pairs of shorts that fit me well now. Um, I could use a third, depending on how they look, or potentially, believe it or not, the oddly lengthed jeans. I want to look at the footage and see how those look, and I also need to look at my shoes and see what I might do with them. Another consideration could be this terracotta colored top for my third item. This just feels good. I just, I just, I love the way this feels, and I like the silhouette. Not sure about the color, but I'll take another look. So. Weigh in, tell me what you think. What would you keep? What would you do if you were me? Um, and thank you for listening to me talk and my thoughts about daily look at the very beginning. Um, 
I just appreciate you being here and I appreciate you letting me bounce stuff off of you. You are my viewers, so I want to know what you would think. Although I will tell you again, uh, since they have my credit card number, I'm a little bit jumpy. <laughs> Anytime I do something financial with them because I never know exactly how it's going to end, but they do always fix it quickly. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. If you enjoy um, different types of unboxings, um, just please subscribe. Would absolutely love it. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. That helps the channel a lot and commenting down below helps the channel a lot too, but commenting down below also helps me because I love conversing with you guys. I am responding to all of the comments and it's just so much fun to hear your input on everything. Alrighty, that is it. I will see you on the next unboxing. Bye bye and be blessed. Hey guys, it's Nancy Ann and today we are going to be unboxing Daily Look. Much better much better.